I went through a phase for a while where I was the guy walking around with like the big gallon water jug because I always needed to be hydrated because I was taking creatine. Okay, well, I'm not suggesting that you be that guy, but if you're doing keto, there is a serious advantage to taking a small amount of creatine. And we're gonna list the reasons why. And I'm also gonna talk about dosages, but straight up, I think you should be taking like two to four grams, nothing crazy. That's, there you go, there's the sound bite for you if you wanna click off the video now. But you should probably be arming yourself with the knowledge as to why, because it's pretty darn cool. Please do make sure you hit that red subscribe button and then please do hit that bell icon. And then after this video, check out Thrive Market down below in the description. I do have a bunch of different grocery boxes and bundles there. Thrive Market is an online membership-based grocery store. So that means that you can pick the kind of groceries that I would normally get at the grocery store without having to go to the grocery store. So they deliver it right to your doorstep. Super, super cool. They're a big supporter of this channel. So I really, really thank them for giving all this stuff to my fans and followers. You can check out my various bundles there, fasting, keto, everything that you would need to really get in a healthy lifestyle. So they're down below in the description after we watch the rest of this video. All right, so first off, creatine, just to give you a very quick synopsis of what it is, it helps you regenerate ATP, which is your energy currency in the body. That's it, okay? You already have natural stores of creatine. They get depleted very quickly. So when you go through a quick burst of energy, you deplete your creatine stores. So let's talk why creatine works on keto so well. Okay, first and foremost, one of the issues that people face if they're doing something like lifting weights when they're on a ketogenic diet is at first, at least for the first little while, you lose a fair bit of muscle glycogen as your body is adapting. So you may seem like your muscles are getting smaller. It may seem like you're flattening out and getting weaker. A lot of it is just a result of intracellular water volume decreasing. And there are studies that demonstrate that creatine supplementation increases intracellular water retention, not extracellular. So yes, if you overdo it, you can certainly feel puffy and hold water. But if you're only talking like two or three grams a day, then it's going to be intracellular water. And what this does is it draws water inside your muscles, which helps out uh, with counteracting some of the fact that that muscle glycogen's gone. For every one gram of carbohydrate that you are holding in glycogen, you hold about three grams of water. So when the carbohydrates are out of your muscles, the water volume decreases significantly. And if you look at basic physics, that gives you a smaller lever arm. So less leverage because your muscle belly is smaller. So adding creatine into the mix just draws a little bit of that water back into the muscle to give you some more of that leverage. You don't need much, just a little bit. The other piece is the quicker bursts of energy. Now, when you are on keto, it's not uncommon to lose a little bit of anaerobic performance. What that means is it's not uncommon to lose a little bit of your mid-range, mid-rep strength. So if you normally play in the ballpark of like four to 12 repetitions with your weight training, you might see a decline on the ketogenic diet because you just have less anaerobic firing. But I usually advise people to lean into more of the creatine phosphate system. Now what I mean by that is if you're on keto, either lift higher rep or lift much lower rep, like one to four reps, and lean into good central nervous stimulation and good heavy lifting, because that leverages the creatine phosphate system more than anything else. And what I mean by that is creatine phosphate replenishes energy for quick, quick, really quick bursts of energy, and then it takes you know, 30 seconds to two minutes to recover. So you can still lift your heavy weights as long as you're working within that creatine phosphate system. Now, the problem with that is that depletes very fast. And on keto, you might find yourself not having sufficient stores. So at least if you supplement with creatine, it allows you to lean into that more and possibly get more strength and power out of those quick, heavy bursts. Not saying everyone should do that, okay? I mean, if you have injuries, yes, use your head. Don't be completely idiotic and do something that's gonna just injure you. But if you wanna lift heavy and you can, creatine's gonna help you out with that and get you more out of your ketogenic workouts. Now this next thing is it makes creatine resynthesize faster, okay? So what happens is your body develops an efficiency system for creatine phosphate. It gets better at resynthesizing creatine to be able to use it to create energy. It's the job of creatine to put a phosphate molecule back on the ATP, back on the ADP rather. So you have an energy molecule, ATP, phosphate gets cleaved off of that ATP and it creates a spark of energy, which gives you literal energy. Then you have to put that phosphate molecule back well, creatine is a store of phosphate that puts that molecule back. When you deplete creatine, you don't have the phosphate molecule to build it up again. But you also wanna get efficient at creating this 
this enzyme that allows that process to occur. Supplementing with creatine demonstrates that you can actually become more efficient at resynthesizing, even without creatine supplementation in the mix afterwards. It also creates a greater storage level. So whereas hypothetically you might be able to store, let's just say five grams of creatine in your leg now, if you start supplementing with creatine, you might be able to start storing seven or eight. It expands the stores, which means that you're going to be able to do more reps on your creatine phosphate system than you would otherwise. And then the big piece is going to be not even necessarily workout related, it's mental. Okay, if you're trying to get through the keto flu, it can be a tremendous, tremendous help to you. And the reason is, is because when you're going through the keto flu, your body is trying to get fat adapted. Suddenly you've taken away glycogen, you've taken away carbohydrate fuel, and your body is forced to run into this heavily beta oxidation driven mode for the brain. It might not be used to that. The brain needs glucose. But one thing that does also fuel the brain is creatine phosphate. Okay, the brain has lots of little really fast movements. So if you give yourself creatine, you might be able to give yourself that little boost that you ordinarily wouldn't get to get yourself through that keto flu. Anyhow, as always, keep it locked in here on my channel. And remember, two grams to four grams per day is all you need. And you don't necessarily need to do a loading phase if you don't want to. I have a full video on that as well. See you tomorrow.